Alright, so this is another unboxing from the cubicle, and I bought it like one day uh, before their Halloween show started, so I should have got, um, like all the stuff from that. I believe it's three cubes. Oh yeah, this is my first cubicle, um, like, modified, whatever, lubed cube, so I'm super stoked on that. Shang Shao Pyramids and the Skew. Oh my, it didn't get in here. That's disappointing. I guess I'll just have to, um, I'll have to tell them about that. Because I did, like, send them an email before it shipped to be like, I just ordered, can I get that stuff? Because it should have came with an extra pair of stickers and lube. I, after these two, well, mostly Pyraminxes, I'm going to take a break on pair, buying Pyraminxes. Pyraminxes. Ooh, that's hard to say, plural. Um, just because I have so many, and like they take up so much more space than a cubic puzzle. But this one I was really excited about because it's Shang Shao, and it's their only their second Pyraminx. Ooh, their tips are not that good. They're very, very sandy and slow. Alright, so this literally just feels like an improved version of their regular pyramids. And so, it's not that good. Definitely not better what's on the market right now. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Because I'm really excited for this one, but more excited for that one. So I'm saving it for last. The little onion guy. Okay. It's very smooth and sandy. And the clicks are not as prominent. But obviously you can hear them. Um, I think it's very decent out of the box. It's just not as fast. It's not that fast. Yeah, um, I don't really speed solve, like, skew or, or anything, but my first initial impressions is that it's very, very sandy. And sluggish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get this solved because I want them to be all solved. As you can tell, see, I use the beginner's method. I plan to, to like learn the intermediate method, but I've just been super lazy. There's that one. Now, the one I'm super excited about, the cubicle Tang Long. I got it in gray because I already have it in, in pink. Do I have it? I don't know if I have it in black, but I know I have it in pink because I just solved with it. Come on. I wonder if they just like carefully take it out of the plastic and then just put it back or do they wrap it themselves? They wrap it themselves. It's pretty impressive. And I asked for a half bright to be put on this, I believe. And yeah, the stickers shades look pretty good. I like it. Wow, it's super buttery smooth. And a lot of people say that the cubes come gummy. Um, I guess it is a little bit. But it's not bad. It's a little slow and sluggish. It's a good thing that it's not that cold where I am yet. Wow, this is like really good. I'm I'm really surprised and like happily surprised. The tensions are a little tighter than I would put them on, but I feel like it's very medium tensions. But I would unloose it like half a turn on each side, but I'm not because I'm going to keep it um, stock of the cubicle stock. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was basically it for this unboxing. But yeah, I'm very impressed. If the Tanglong was my main, I would definitely switch to this Tanglong. It's very good. I'm very impressed with that, with the cubicle. I definitely know what they're doing with their premium cubes. 
Um, I'll probably get the magnetic one eventually. Maybe next week I'll order it, but because a lot of people say it's really good, but I just didn't think it was worth it. But I'll probably get it just to just to have it in the collection. All right. So that was this unboxing. I definitely don't recommend this. I recommend this if you just want to try out a new skew, and I definitely try. Sh suggest you try out the premium, premium cubes they're pretty good all right so thanks for watching and have a great day